There are certain cues that always make a Mustang. If you just keep repeating the same cues, you're going to end up with the older cars. Our job was really to balance the cues so that it was still Mustang, but at the same time moving it forward. The profile of the vehicle is very important. We get what we call this shark bike look to it, so that the, the, the leading edge of the hood is leaning forward, so you really get that lovely feel to the nose of the car. One of the images we talk about, and the, the customers actually picked these as images when we were doing some research, was this sort of fist breaking through. So there's nothing subtle about the front end of a Mustang, so it was very important to get that sort of bluff feel to the front end that really was quite dramatic and a really strong Mustang signature. You see the rear end, it's 100% Mustang with what we call the racetrack around the tri-bar tail lamps. The graphics are unmistakably Mustang, but I think done in a very modern way. You see the car, you get this beautiful profile and this lovely streamlined fastback. That was really a very important thing to get the proportions and the stance of the vehicle right and get that center line right. It's really something special for me to see this car in Scotland and see it you know, in this environment and you really can't wait to drive it. redesign of the car, it was the 50th anniversary and so we wanted this to be quite special so we really looked at what the formula of the Mustang was and said we need to adapt that formula to make it a car that will stand out and so we worked a lot on the proportions of the car. We wanted to make the car lower, the rear end is wider so we really wanted that stance to be important so when you see this car not only you know it's a Mustang but you know it can handle as well. You're actually sitting lower than the previous version. The whole car has actually been lowered by about 30 millimeters. It's something we really wanted to get from both an exterior proportion standpoint and also the view out of the car from the driver's seat. We've spent a lot of time and effort really getting the quality of the interior up in terms of not just the fit and finish, but also the materials we're using, you know, real aluminum. And just making sure that by the way we've designed the interior it comes together really well. We've been waiting for this for a long time because, you know, living in Michigan is it's some really nice roads but they're usually quite straight and quite flat so this is the first time I've been able to drive the car on some really nice roads and nothing better than good Scottish roads.